Good evening folks. We want to wish you all a very happy Christmas and we hope you've had a great day. Depending on what country you are from, you may not have had your Christmas dinner yet. If you haven't, I advise you to let it go down on you before you watch this video. There is a little surprise and we love surprises. <music> This type of foot is a rare sight for us. Not too often do we ever see a foot so swelled and full of liquid. This cow could barely touch her foot off the ground and it's really no wonder why. This is not exactly a straightforward trim. This cow has quite a lot going on. She has a white line defect here so I'm guessing dirt and bacteria has entered at this point, travelled up into the heel and infected it. The hoof was extremely hard and brittle from the heat caused from whatever is going on inside. first saw this cow I knew that one visit to her would not suffice. That is why I applied a wooden wedge block. It can wear but the wedge aspect of it allows me to increase the heel height exactly where she needs the weight off. So with the block applied and the glue setting I carefully assess the massive balloon and see where we can bring relief to this cow. Oh, that still makes me shiver even though I knew it was coming. What a massive pressure was built up in that heel. Oh, there's Daisy the singing cow. <laughs> Do you know what that means? That means we should like the video and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> oh, Daisy. <laughs> I gently squeeze the heel to make sure the pus is all out. And in actual fact, part of the pedal bone has become detached. I will talk more about this later, but this is a reconstruction, who few, since my camera was covered the day I trimmed her. With the pressure released and my face cleaned, I bandaged this foot. I can't trim away any of the skin at the heel, so it's a situation where we have to let her rest. I also advised the farmer to give her some pain relief as she is still quite sore on this foot, as you would expect. We came back two weeks later to check this and that day we put on another block on top of the wedge block and cleaned the wound. She is stepping a little easier but this cow still has a long way to go. And here we are back three weeks later. She has lost her block, but that heel is starting to look a little more normal. As you've seen in the first video, part of the pedal bone had come away. The pedal bone is the last bone in the foot and is suspended and held in place by ligaments. These ligaments had got damaged by the sheer pressure built up in this foot. It's not a fantastic sight, but cows can recover from this. And that's exactly what we're hoping for COW 2419.
To aid her with that recovery, we apply a smart block and trim out the lesion. And as I'm doing that, I'm feeling for the detached pieces of horn before it gets wrapped up for her comfort. Hello again folks, I'm back in the farm where we trimmed cow 2419. Uh, seems like quite a while ago because I've seen her a few times. Not every cow is that straightforward that you just see her once or twice and that's her cured. So this cow has took a little bit of extra TLC but I think we're nearly there. So let's get her into the crush for her recheck. This is the third visit to this cow. And in reality, we are only about halfway there. But we will persevere, and I have every confidence we will get this cow across the line. As you've seen in other trims, block failure can impede on recovery. And that's exactly what we have here. This cow did not need this to happen, but we must keep positive. We did the same on this day as we did the last day. We put on a smart block, rebanded shirt, and wished her all the best until the next visit. So I'm just coming back from putting cow 2419 back into the shed. Uh, that's coming on nicely. Um, that whole huge gaping hole where the pus was is all closing over nicely. And uh, we had a bit of block failure over this last fortnight. so. I'll see her in another two weeks and hopefully that bruising is gone and uh, all that claw now really needs is a bit of rest. So we have a few cows trimmed here this morning. The rain has decided to stay around with us um, but it's now time to get 2419 into the crush. She's walking really nicely so let's see. As I unwrap this bandage, I hope you have all unwrapped your presents today. I hope Santa brought you exactly what you wanted. But if he didn't, you obviously were not as well behaved as you should have been. Tom is one of the people that fit into this bracket. It has been a great Christmas for this cow. I have lost count of how many times we have rejected her, but it's all worthwhile when we see how well she is walking today compared to the very first day. That is what makes this job the most satisfying job in the world, when we can really see the difference we have made. That's her last trim of 2021, but we will see her again early next year, when we will hopefully be removing the block for good. Hello again folks, we hope you enjoyed that trim. What a change there was in how that cow could walk. 
We really hope you're enjoying the series of the 12 Who's of Christmas as much as we enjoyed making it. We want to thank all our viewers and subscribers to the channel. We are blown away by the amount of different countries tuning in, so a shout out to you all. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas day and don't eat too much.